this wig right here from eye color wig mall it is a ginger wig that they dyed by themselves all i did was just pluck the hair i didn't do any bleaching because the knots are already bleached and i believe this is a jerry curl texture here's what the lace is looking like i feel like it's a pretty good thin lace but i'm going to be tinting it like i always do I'm also over here filming a TikTok. I have like two cameras on me, so I'm looking somewhere else. That's because I'm filming a TikTok. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation to tint the lace. And I'm gonna be buffing that in inside. Now that I've tinted my lace, we're gonna blow dry it with the blow dryer. Come on now. Yeah. Put this on, gotta make sure we cut off this little lace on the back. And to make sure the wig is nice and snug, we're gonna go ahead and just, you know, clip this back here to get a good fit. Make sure it's not too tight. And we're ready to go. You can see the cap a little bit, but yeah, definitely the cap is peeking through. But since I think I want to do a side part, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So gonna be using my Ebon Lace Spray for my adhesive. I love this stuff, but first let me just cut this into sections. Makes it a whole lot easier to work with. Right, and a cool setting to help us make sure we are drying on that lace to our head.
proceed to do our baby hairs. I got this new edge control brush because I've been needing one for the longest. I feel like it's best to get a brush that has a little rat tail comb in the bottom, comb, and a little brush as well. I feel like this is literally all three tools. I use all three to help me in guiding my baby hairs. So I know I want to do. First, let me cut these scissors down a little bit shorter. I don't want them too long. I hate when I cut my baby hairs too short and now I'm crying. But I also hate it was too long because when it's too long, it's too hard to work with. But I'm gonna cut it just relatively above my eyebrow as a guide to start. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna be using got to be to slick these suckers down. started to get a bit complicated and I had to stop talking to the camera and focus on the install I even had it off the camera sometimes because sometimes I feel like when I'm on camera I start to mess up even more anyway so I did have to go ahead and just take off the wig cap underneath and put the wig because that wig cap was not working so I took off the wig cap reinstalled the wig again and here you see me doing my baby hairs for like the 500th time I don't know what it was but the baby hairs were not trying to work with me on this wig it wasn't the wig's fault I think it was I don't know me something the air the moon i don't know but anyway so after fighting with these baby hairs i finally managed to get something that i liked i went ahead and go went for a side part i felt like the middle part wasn't giving what it was supposed to give so i went ahead and did a side part and now i can go ahead and start defining my curls defining the curls pretty standard i just used water bottle a little bit of leave-in spritz the hair down give it a nice brush through to help bring the curls out I like to always just let my curls to air dry for a bit. I feel like this helps get the curls to look defined. And if I want it bigger, I can go ahead and separate them once the hair is dry. So once I was done letting the hair air dry to like 100%, I went ahead and used my fingers and just slightly separate it and, you know, tease the hair a bit to give it some volume. Kind of like really big hair. And this is the finished look. Looks really nice, real cute, you know, boom, bam. I love this color. I feel like it's perfect for the fall. It's not too bright, but like also, you know, gives you a little thumbs up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video slash install and I hope to see you in another one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Girl Scouts. Have a blessed day.